At Cerus Power, we look for ways to use our technology across the energy system, ways that we can innovate what we do to solve big challenges. Today, we're launching a white paper that's gonna talk about how we can use our technology to lower the cost and lower the energy consumption to capture carbon in a meaningful way. That's gonna be a really important foundational technology for the energy transition. Carbon dioxide is not only a problem, it's also a valuable commodity for lots of industries. It's used to make drinks fizzy, it's used to preserve meat for transport. Ultimately, it will be used as the building block for future sustainable aviation fuels and sustainable fuels for other applications like heavy duty transport for ships and trucks. So how do you capture carbon dioxide? The biggest factor on how easy and how expensive it is to capture carbon dioxide is how concentrated the carbon dioxide is. So if you think about CO2 in the atmosphere, that's a few hundred parts per million. So that's really difficult to find and grab hold of and capture. So really we wanna capture it earlier in the process than that. Most carbon that's captured today is captured from what are called point sources. So like the chimney of a power station. And there it's a few percent. If you think about why that is, we take air, which is oxygen and nitrogen, and mix it with fuel and burn them together. What we're left with at the end of that is a small amount of CO2, a small amount of water and lots of nitrogen. So whilst that's better than capturing it from the atmosphere, it's still really hard to capture it on its own from that point source. If you do this in a solid oxide fuel cell, what we do is we take exactly the fuel we want for the power, and then we add just the right amount of oxygen. So what we're left with is a really concentrated stream of carbon dioxide, a small amount of water, and a small amount of leftover fuel. So that's 15 to 20 times more concentrated than you would find in a normal power production application. And that really lowers the cost to operate that carbon capture. But also, because there's less CO2 produced, everything gets a bit smaller, so those facilities are cheaper to build as well. Today at Serra's, we try and innovate across the energy system. We're working on the most efficient way to make hydrogen, we're working on technologies to help carbon capture be lower cost and more efficient. And if you think about it, those are enabling technologies for a future where we have a complete closed carbon cycle. We capture carbon from the point of use, mix it with hydrogen, and then use that to make things like synthetic aviation fuels that help decarbonize long haul transport.